Hey foodies, I love mustard and nothing is easier for a recipe than making your own artisanal French style mustard. It's so great and easy. I've picked up some bulk yellow mustard seeds, some black mustard seeds, and just a few things from my kitchen and you're gonna have mustard in a matter of days. It's so quick and easy. It sits in the fridge for months and you're gonna be able to say, oh, here, have some of my homemade mustard. And it's, it's so fancy, but it's so easy. You're gonna love it. So you can get the recipe up here and that's gonna give you all the information you need. Plus, there's gonna be some variations, which I'm gonna list in the, in the description below. But I'm just gonna stick with the simple recipe of making a Dijon mustard. And you want to start by taking your spice grinder and you want to grind up some of your seeds. The yellow mustard seed takes the longest to grind. And you want your yellow mustard seed to be quite well ground so that it can bring out the flavor. And you'll notice when you move it from the spice grinder into a bowl, it doesn't smell anything like mustard. It's like I was making ketchup earlier in the summer and it didn't smell anything like ketchup until I added cinnamon. Who would have thought cinnamon and ketchup? But again, I'm gonna do a recipe of that and you're gonna love it. But let's stick with mustard. Okay, so we've got our yellow mustard all right around. Now I'm gonna put in my black mustard seed. And this is just gonna have a light grind. It's just gonna break up about half of the, the seeds just so that it it looks fancy and, and keeps the body of the, the mustard. Seed. Okay, so that's that. Next, we want to add our salt and our turmeric. The turmeric not only is really healthy, but it also adds a little bit of color to really bring out the yellow and, and help round out and smooth out the flavor. So I'm just going to give this a really light stir. Then we're gonna add our water. Now, if you wanna substitute water, and if you don't have access to water and you only have access to white wine, by all means, use some white wine because white wine is just gonna make it an even better flavor. But I'm just using water this time and I'm using apple cider vinegar. And then we're gonna mix this all up. And it looks really wet right now, but it, the mustard is going to absorb all of that moisture and you give it a really good stir just to get all the flavors to meld together okay so that is day one of making mustard i'm going to put a lid on it and i don't want a tight sealed lid and I'm just gonna set it on the counter and leave it for a few days, every day, same time. I'm gonna take the lid off, I'm gonna take a clean spoon, and I'm gonna stir it, at which point it might be a little on the dry side. You can add a couple tablespoons of water just to soften it up and get it to mix a bit better, but it should be just fine, and you'll notice after a day or two, it's gonna start to smell more and more like mustard. The vinegar is gonna help it to ferment and, and really bring out the flavors. So, so after three days, you're going to have a mustard that looks a little bit like this. It's going to smell just like mustard. It's going to taste like mustard. And it's going to be great. It's going to be so fancy. When you put it out on the table, people are going to ooh and awe over it because you made it. And it's so easy. What is your favorite kind of mustard? Do you like honey mustard? 
Dijon mustard? Do you like plain yellow mustard? Maybe there's a different mustard that I haven't even mentioned that you like specifically. Let me know in the comments below. I look forward to reading all about it. See you soon.